Hey people, it's really good to see you. Yeah, you. So you're thinking about getting your first snake, or you're a parent of a kid that really wants to get a pet snake. Well, there's plenty of care videos out there for every species you can imagine, but this video is about my experience, enjoying and bonding with my snakes after one year. Here we go. About a year ago, we started thinking about getting our first snake. My lovely wife had a garter snake when she was a kid in Florida, but that was the only snake experience between us. I wasn't afraid of snakes and had caught a few in the wild when I was a kid, but I had not had one as a pet. We decided after doing a lot of research that a corn snake was the best for our skill level, or lack thereof. We ended up getting some ball pythons later, so this was a good opportunity to see the differences between the two species for a beginner. First, the corn snake. This is Queen. She is our hypo-striped corn snake we found at a local reptile shop. If your goal is to get a snake that's easy to care for <laughs> and never gives you a moment of stress, corn snakes are where it's at. After a year, this girl's never missed a meal. She's an enthusiastic eater and growing like crazy. Some corn snakes can get a bit nippy sometimes, but Queen here has never struck or attempted to bite us. Not once. Corn snakes can reach up to six feet long. They are very reasonably sized compared to much thicker species like a ball python. As you can see, handling is a bit challenging sometimes. Corn snakes are always on the move. Because of this, you'll see them cruising around their enclosure, popping their heads out to watch you walk by. As you can see, Queen here is especially fond of boops. Boop. It takes some practice to hold them confidently and always be aware that they can get free or escape their enclosure. They would be very hard to find. Always make sure you have them secured in their enclosure and do not take your eyes off of them when they're out. They are fast, aren't you queen? This is Stella. She is my beautiful blue-eyed Lucy. I'm gonna go ahead and say that holding and interacting with Stella is much more enjoyable for me than the queen. Stella's size and strength is much more impressive, but without being any more intimidating to a beginner. Well, at least not for me. Let's get this out of the way. If you're worried about getting a snake because you're afraid of getting bit, don't be. I know what you're thinking. Well, actually I have no idea what you're thinking, but I have heard many people tell me that snakes are evil, scary, aggressive, and dangerous. And honestly, if you feel this way, it's unlikely I'm gonna change your mind. If you're like me and you love animals and nature, these incredible reptiles are fascinating. I feel very strongly that the first time you get bit by a snake is your best day as a snake owner. Seriously, Stella here was the first one to tag me and it was totally my fault, right? right? Was it my fault? I put my thumb right at the entrance to the hide and she got me. It surprised me a lot. I, I didn't quite understand what happened at first, but it didn't hurt at all. There were a few tiny spots where her small teeth broke through the skin, but it was painless. And since that day, I have never feared holding any of our snakes. A few weeks back at our local reptile shop, a rosy boa bit me and wrapped up on my arm and wouldn't let go of my finger. It was actually kind of amusing. And dare I say, cute? Point being, relax. Your cat or your dog are much more likely and much more capable of hurting you or your kids. Well, back to Stella. Ball pythons are amazing pets to handle. They're called ball pythons because they tend to ball up to protect themselves. Stella is a much more chill animal to handle. The downside? Well, there always has to be a downside, right? Ball pythons are just a little harder to care for. Our other ball python, Bowie, didn't eat for a month or two when we brought him home. If you choose a ball python, be prepared to put in some extra effort with their enclosure, maintaining humidity, and feeding challenges. So there you have it. Snakes are boring. <sighs> Dude. Not okay. At least the snakes let me hold them. I would let you, but you smell funny. I smell funny? <laughs> Have you smelled yourself lately? Whatever there, smart guy. Play with your noodles. I don't care. Well, obviously you do care because you keep interrupting me. Interrupting? Speaking my mind? Are you trying to take away my voice? 
my freedom. You live in a cage in my bedroom. Uh, my voice? Raptor, stop. Okay, so snakes are awesome pets. Pros and cons in every species, but this is my opinion based on only one year of keeping these animals. If you want a beautiful animal to hold and enjoy while you're watching TV, or to hang around your shoulders while you're reading a book, the ball python's probably for you. Just expect a little more work and attention to detail. If you're not as interested in handling time and just want a beautiful pet snake to enjoy behind the glass, corn snakes are a great starter snake. All snakes have their unique behaviors and personalities, but one thing you can be sure of is that neither one's as irritating as a Euromastix. He went there. He mm -hmm. went there. You know what? Yep. Humans are big, dumb animals. There. I said it. You. That's what I'm talking about. Raptor. You. Thanks, all. See you next time.